Day two now of our series as we're calling Into the Air, Land, and Sea today. Mm -hmm. That's right. Jenna got things started Tuesday, reaching for the stars during astronaut training. But I chose to keep my feet planted firmly on the ground, or actually underground, for an exclusive tour of a concert hall that only a handful of people have actually seen in the last 75 years. When you walk past the street right here on Boylston, it says Steiner Hall but only one out of 200 people would ever know that there was once a hall down here that was very important. There's something really mystical almost about the Steiner Hall now as you look at it. It's tremendous visually. You look around it and you'll see uh, the columns, for example, they get all sorts of heavy filigree around them. It's very ornate and it's beautiful. The only way to really understand what the hall is about, you've got to experience it for yourself. And now we crack open the door to a hidden masterpiece, a relic of a time gone by. Hello, Paul Hello, Matt, Matt Lauer. Matt, Paul Murphy, how nice are you? Nice to welcome, see you. Welcome to Steinert Hall. Have you ever seen this before? No, and I understand well, not many people get to see what you're going to show me. Well, since 1942, very few people walk by here every day and they don't know what's below their feet. Take me back in time. What, what am I about to see? Well, you're going to see Steinert Hall, and it was uh, the little gem is what it was referred to by several of the artists who performed here, uh, built in 1896. It's not in the best shape. Well, I'd agree with that. That's true. It's, uh, it's been not abandoned, but out of use. It's just been used really for storage, unfortunately. In 1896, there were no personal music players, no Spotify or iTunes. Even records were relatively new. If you wanted to hear music, you played it yourself or came here. I immediately goes to some of the plaques yes. on the wall. Yeah, well, that's uh, some tributes to some of the great uh, composers of the Romantic and Classic era. Concert theater hall, a little bit of a fixer-upper, but incredible. Let's go down there. Okay. Paul, give me a sense of some of the people who played here in the Little Gem. Paderewski in the 1890s. We had Rachmaninoff came here several times. These were the big names of the era. These were the rock stars of they really 100 were. years ago. This is the main theater that made the orchestra level, if you will. We're now 40 feet below the street level. Originally built by piano dealer Morris Steinert, the room's curved walls created its stunning acoustics. I think people, when they came in here, you know how people kind of buzz and talk? I'll bet you when they came in here, they didn't do that. They'd, all of a sudden, it's just quiet. Back in the day, Boylston would have been what, cobblestone? Yes, cobblestones, uh, hard, hard tires and rubber and... And, and horses, horses. Yeah. yeah. So, so this was put here so that it, it would never be impacted the music by the noise on the street. Exactly right. Even with cars and buses up there now, you hear nothing. The phenomenon remains, doesn't it? <laughs> but imagine what it would be like to bring it back to life even for just a minute. That's uh, Joshua Bell. He's one of the best violinists on the planet. Mr. Bell, the stage is yours. Steiner Hall does give you a sense of both the past and its ghosts, and in its decrepit state, you can you can feel some of those those images, some of those ghosts. Bravo, Joshua, thank you. Hey, hey, it's thanks. fantastic. I lived in Boston on and off for eight, nine years. I lived there for six years. You ever know about that Never place? Never heard of it, ever. <laughs> no, me either. And were the acoustics yeah. really that good? Unbelievable. I mean, when you hear Joshua Bell play the first movement <laughs> from Grieg's Violin Sonata, which I know you knew that <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it, just, it just sounds like it was always meant to sound. Did you try to sing? Were you like, I'm so tired of being alone again. I asked him to play Devil Went Down to Georgia. <laughs> and he did. No, I'm not no, kidding. No. He 
he did. Where's that he, cape? Oh, I've got that. I'll oh, say he, awesome. he went right into oh, it. That is so <laughs> yeah, cool. Very cool. cool. Uh, uh, and by the way, you can hear from more from <laughs> Joshua when he releases the classical collection, a new 14 CD set on August 18th. <laughs> and our digital team took 88 scans of the hall and created a cool 360-degree interactive That's tour. Cool. You can check that out at today.com. That was awesome. I that was a fun it. piece. Yeah. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.